Right, great. welcome to Mathematics with Amps. Grade 11, solving quadratic equations by completing the square. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free. Right, let's solve the following equations by completing the square. Let's look at A first. X squared minus 4X minus 5 equals to 0. So what you do is you first transfer the 5 to the right hand side and then you take the x squared minus 4x and complete the square. Remember the formula, a half times the coefficient of x all squared, which is a half times negative 4 all squared, which of course is a 4. Now 4 is negative 2 squared. So then you add a negative 2 squared and you subtract a negative 2 squared, right? Or alternatively, you can add a negative square to both sides. You can choose which method works for you. Then you collect your like terms, right? And take the negative 4 to your right hand side, which you could have done in the first step. Then the first three terms on the left hand side will be factorized as x minus 2 all squared, and 5 plus 4 is 9. Then to get rid of the square, we find square root on both sides, but don't forget plus or minus the square root of 9, which of course is plus or minus 3, so therefore x is a 5, or x is a negative 1. That's this good B now. 2x squared plus 10x minus 14 equals to 0. And again here, you can either first divide by 2, or you can first transfer 14, it doesn't matter. In either way, you get up x squared plus 5x equals to 7. Then on the left hand side, complete the square, right? So remember, it is a half times b over 2 all squared, which will give you 5 over 2 all squared, which you must add to both sides, or you can first subtract it from the left hand side. Either way, it doesn't matter. Then you Factorize the 3 on the left hand side, which gives you x plus 5 over 2 all squared. And of course, 7 plus 35 over 4 gives you 53 over 4. This can be done with a calculator, so don't waste time. Then, of course, find square root on both sides, and we get plus or minus. But now in this case, 53 is irrational and 4 is rational. So what we do is we find the square root of 4, but we leave 53 under the square root. Then, of course, we take 5 over 2 over, right? And, of course, split the plus and the minus. So the answers can be left like that, or it can be taken further using a calculator. So the so-called cap principle refer to the standard form ax squared plus bx plus c. Step 1, move the c value across. Step two, divide both sides by the A value. You see, cap, C, A, B. And then, of course, step three, add the so-called B value. So remember, C is for C value across. A is for the A value, which you must divide by. And, of course, B is your B value. To both sides, and, of course, factorize and solve the equation by squaring the rooting both sides. There's a nice example, you can, I mean, exercise you can look at. Please work through them thoroughly, and on the next page, I will give you the solutions. Right, and here's the solution to the exercise. Please, again, work through them thoroughly and check whether you get exactly the same answers. Right, this is uh, Mathematics with Ams, Ahmed Suleiman. Please uh, give me a huge like and don't forget to subscribe. Subscription is free.